The line ready on the right. The line ready on the left. All ready on the firing line. Fire! Fire! Wars happen. Countries get invaded. The U.S. has never had a war on our soil, um, as far as being invaded from another nation. Uh, that could happen. On a recent July morning in Winterset, Iowa, nearly two dozen men, women, and children gathered to take part in two days of marksmanship training offered by the Appleseed Project. All right, this is how this morning is going to go. We're going to do a brief safety briefing, uh, explain what we expect of you, and we'll uh, put up our first target and go from there. The project is dedicated to teaching every American how to fire a bullet through a man-sized target from up to 500 yards. When you breathe, you'll see the crosshairs move up and down. You'll fire three rounds into each one of these bell targets. I'll get better. You happy with that? I'll get better. Appleseed sees 500-yard shooting as fundamental to the American identity. Some of you guys I've noticed are holding that rifle away from your shoulder just a slight bit. Part of being an engaged citizen, they argue, is knowing how to use deadly force. Do I drive down the street every day thinking, man, I should have the, you know, a need to shoot something at 500 yards? No. But if that ever arose, sucks to be me if I can't. The shoots attract a broad spectrum of gun owners, everyone from recreational shooters looking to hone their aim. This is the bad boy of battlefield rifles. To those who see the government as a potential enemy. It worries me to the point that uh, I have to come up with alternative plans to government officials coming in, breaking into my home and taking my guns. You bet. The Appleseed Project was founded in 2005 by Jack Daly, who organized the first two shoots in Wyoming and Texas. Fire! By the end of 2010, Appleseed will have taught more than 30,000. Dozens of shoots are scheduled each month across the country. We say in this program, if you have to fire one shot in defense of liberty, Appleseed has failed. Because that's not what we're about. We're not out here trying to incite a revolution. We're out here trying to get people involved in their lives. Get involved in your life and make the changes you want by going to your town council or becoming part of the system, the elected government, and being part of the be, be the solution, or shut up. We're gonna stop for lunch here. If you wanna cover your rifles, I would suggest it because they're gonna be hotter than heck by the time you get back. In between target practices, there are history lessons. It's Captain Isaac Davis. As he left, he turned and said, take care of the children, and then um, marched off to Concord. The stories focus on colonial America and the events that led to the American Revolution. In April 19th, 1775, Two very important men in Massachusetts were staying in Lexington, John Hancock and Sam Adams. The history is more important than the shooting because that's really what the program is. The shooting is, the, is a hook. I mean, it's what gets people here so that we can help awaken them, sort of. Appleseed has a policy against including partisan politics in their program. But there is a general sense at most shoots that the country is on the wrong track and needs to look back to the principles of the founders. They probably weren't the kind of people who uh, sat around on a Saturday and drank six pack of beer and watched TV. Our country has sort of um, lost its sense of what we're about. As far as I know, this in-depth history is not being taught in public schools. We brought our whole family, it's my husband and I and our three children. We've been shooting for sport just for a couple of years. We've really enjoyed it. It's a nice thing to do together as a family, and uh, it teaches a, a valuable skill. It's a good skill to learn, like swimming or riding a bike, riding a horse. Now this is a target that I think that every apple seed should shoot. It's a television sitting on a couch, <laughs> okay? This is much more dangerous enemy than the Redcoats ever were. Yep. Yep. Even if you're an American who hates guns and people who own them, it may be us Americans who own guns and know how to operate them who are saving their butts when things really go down. Maybe.